What's up YouTube? It's Chris with Murphy Firearms Training. Today I'm going to be playing with some specialty shotgun rounds. These are Super Buck and Ball. Give you a close-up of these. It is double lot buck and a musket ball loaded together. Let's take a look at the package on the back. What have we got? Buck and Ball round is packaged with a full nine double lot buck and a 58 caliber musket ball. So nine double lot buck and a 58 caliber musket ball. That is a lot of lead. That is a lot of lead. Whenever I shoot rounds like this, specialty rounds, I like to use a single shot shotgun, even though the recoil is, is a lot tougher. So the gun we're using today, guys, this is an H&R Pardoner. This is a single shot 12 gauge with a modified choke has a 26 and some odd eighths inch barrel and uh, I like using single shots with uh, specialty rounds just because you don't have any issues with pellets getting caught in the action or problems with the action it's pretty simple you break it open and you extract your shells so anyway what we're going to do today we've got three shots these come in packs of three we've got three shots and we're going to do the first one is going to be a pattern so we're going to shoot it I got a pattern board sitting at 10 yards the idea being that this is like a defensive round so what's the pattern look like at 10 yards i'm going to aim for the center of this pattern board i'm going to shoot it show what it looks like then we're going to shoot a head of cabbage and then we're going to shoot some water jugs so anyway let's get our ears on and uh we're loaded we're going to shoot this pattern board at about 10 yards and then i'll show you what it looks like so here goes was surprisingly light recoil I actually expected it to kick a lot harder than that um, I recently shot some nine pellet double lot buck with this gun and it kicked a lot harder so very very light recoil and here is our target paper that was at 10 yards and I want you to notice we've got some flyers here let's count our pellet holes we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so all nine pellets and then there's your 58 caliber musket ball. Um, so, you know, and I'm aiming here. So to give you an idea. And this paper is roughly 12 by 18. So it's, uh, it's uh, about 12 inches wide and about 18 inches high. So a nice pattern, a little high, but a nice pattern aiming here. Nice pattern and then two flyers down here. But at 10 yards, that actually has a good spread to it. Um, and very, very mild recoil. So I'm very interested what the water jug test for this will look like. So let's get ahead of cabbage and see what it does to it. So there's our pattern board. Again, about 10 yards out from our shooting bench. And on an old pine stump there on the ground, I've got some cabbage. So we're going to zoom in on that and see what happens to it. So we're going to shoot this with the buck and ball load. So I'm going to aim right for it and see what happens. All right. We are loaded. Here we go. Huh. That's kind of sad, actually. That's kind of sad. It, uh, it pretty much missed. <laughs> well, we can remedy that. I'm going to grab some buckshot just for fun. Um, so here's some Nobel 9 pellet buck. This kicks a lot harder. And uh, it'll definitely wipe out the cabbage because... I don't think that did any damage and I'm sad. So anyway, let's see what regular old nine pellet buck that kicks a lot harder does. Oh yeah, that's much better. That's more what I wanted to see. Anyway, so uh, I think, you know, pattern wise it's good, but uh, it's kind of wimpy. We'll shoot it at a water jug and see what it does. Super buck and ball water jug test. This is nine nine double lot buck and one 58 caliber musket ball. I'm gonna fire this and see if we can catch them. So, I'm gonna back up and give it a shot with the shotgun. Oh! Huh. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what we got. 
All right, so here's our aftermath. Let's count them up. We got jug number one. Took uh, the brunt of the hit high right, but uh, here it is. So a bunch of pellets hit. Looks like the musket ball was high. All to the right. Really tore through these jugs. There's jug two. Nothing in jug two. Jug three. Still tracking. Lots of shots. Spreading out a little bit. This one tore the side open. Nothing. Wait. Aha. We have a pellet in jug three. So we have a pellet in jug three. Jug four looks like the musket ball's here. A couple of pellets there. And we have some pellets in jug three. So we'll sort that out. There's jug four. They're still going. Okay. Excuse me. Jug, that's jug five. Jug five, they're still going, right? So still going, still going, lots of holes. Pellets in that one, but still going. We got at least one here. That's probably the musket ball. Nothing in that jug. This is jug eight, and it looks like we just grazed the side of jug eight. Oh, and we caught it. There's our musket ball. Or excuse me, jug seven. Jug seven, and jug eight is here on the ground. Other than muddy, he's unscathed. So, so it looks like we penetrated the musket ball, penetrated seven jugs, and the buckshot penetrated through three, four, five, and six. It looks like so. There's pellets in, actually no, there's nothing in six, and the musket balls in seven. So let's get them out and see what we got. All right, so here's what we got, guys. This was in jug three. This was in jug four. These were in jug five. Jug six was empty, and the musket ball was in jug seven. And if you look at the musket ball, you'll see deformation from where the pellets were riding it up the barrel. It's deformed from the pellets above and below it. So on both sides, you've got a three-dot three, three dot little pattern where the uh, buckshot was stacked with it. So the musket ball, none of these really, other than bashing against each other, going through the barrel... It looks like they didn't deform in the water. They kept their shape. So jug three, jug four, jug five, jug seven. So, uh, and I'll be honest with you, the recoil on this round is almost nothing. Like it kicks, I would say about like 20 gauge bird shot. I mean, looking at it, I thought it was really going to kick. And it just, it doesn't kick that hard at all. Um, and so, honestly, I'm impressed by this round. It patterns good at across the room distances. Um... And, and the penetration is phenomenally good. So, um, anyway, it's an odd specialty round, and I don't normally like specialty rounds, but uh, this one's pretty cool. So, anyway, that is the super buck and ball, and we see that the musket ball does penetrate deeper than the buckshot. So, if you want more penetration than just double aught buck, the super buck and ball might be your game. So, anyway, appreciate it, guys. Thanks for the support. Like and subscribe. And if you have video ideas, send them to me. Thanks.